Hi, yeah, I was wondering, do you guys have the uh, Ultra Shiny GX Pokemon cards? It's a GX Pokemon card, yeah, so you have it, sorry, it's in Japanese and English and any, any, any other card, Pokemon card, it's in Pokemon, uh, sorry, it's a Pokemon card name, it's different in Japanese, and so we have it, uh, Fairy Light, and uh, in Japan, sorry, all in Japanese, okay? Here at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. I'm gonna go back in and see if I can finesse some more uh, booster boxes. They're only uh, they're only allowing one per per person. So um, yeah, let's see if we can do it. Yo, what is up and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Don Trillius, yet again. Thank you for joining me. Today we have a very special episode, something that I've been mentioning for a long time in videos, and that is we are going to open up everything that I got from Japan. I've been looking forward to doing this video for a long time. Everything that I got in Japan has been sitting in a bag in the corner of my room for a long time, and I am just excited to get into it. Actually, I forgot a lot of the stuff that was actually in the bag, so I actually cannot wait to see what we have. If you've been following me for a while, shout out to the real ones that have been following me since day one. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, we just passed a hundred, not a hundred thousand, we just passed a thousand subscribers. Very excited, that is crazy. I did not expect it to grow that fast. So thank you all for supporting, liking, following, commenting, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, I appreciate it, it means a lot. And uh, yeah, we're in it for the long run. We're gonna keep going. I'm having so much fun doing these videos. I'm super hyped to just get into it and see what we got, so let's do it. So to start off today's video, we're gonna start with my very favorite thing that I got in Japan, and that is the Robot Pikachu. This is just an incredible take on Pikachu. Um, I'm sure till the end of my days, they will be rehashing different versions of Pikachu. Um, and I'm here for it, cause this is just, this is magical. They had, uh, they had a bunch of these uh, Robot Pikachus. I got one. I definitely wanna get a bigger one in the future, but I could not fit it in my luggage, so. I kind of had to just sacrifice that, but this guy 
is uh he's just perfect i love robots love pikachu of course and this just goes so well this is my new favorite mascot i put it on my banner for my youtube page because it just encapsulates everything i love robots and pokemon so yeah this is uh beautiful beautiful plush definitely will be up in the set i plan to get a new set soon so i'll probably have it somewhere behind me but this is my favorite incarnation of the one and only Pikachu. I made it my mission to find everything uh, Robot Pikachu and I had to get these uh, glasses holders. So yeah, this is very cool. I'm sure uh, somebody out there knows the lore of why Pikachu is a robot. I know it has something to do with Rotom as you can see there. Um, but yeah, very cool, very cool glasses case. And next we have the Gengar pen. He is in a Pokeball and when you press it, you know, it opens and closes, it's pretty cool. And Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. They had a few different ones, so I had to get the Gengar. But yeah, it's just a cool pen. Definitely be using this. More of a decoration, but I like it. And next we have this, uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's like a fabric with art on it. And I'm not sure what you use it for, but it's uh has all the Pokemon from Alola. It has like Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini down here. Um, yeah, and uh, of course Poi Poi, one of my favorite Ultra Beasts. But yeah, I have no idea <laughs> what you use this for, but I just saw the art, loved it, and I got it. Next up, we have another piece of fabric with art on it. So I'm a sucker for fabric with art. I can just open it. Okay, this is a baggy for magical treasures or something it's very cool you can put a bunch of stuff in there very useful why not it smells pretty weird though it smells like a factory like plastic but the art is cool so who cares you got Mewtwo the three starters very cool next up we have Pokemon chocolate it came in this really cool container which grabbed my eye I didn't even know it was chocolate till I was checking out and I was like oh wow it says chocolate on the side very cool I have not opened it up it is still sealed uh, I got this like I went to Japan like six months ago or something like that not sure if the chocolate is good but we are about to find out I didn't get it for the chocolate I got it for the case you can put something in there I don't know but let's see what's inside okay we have a note in Japanese those of you that can read Japanese and we have some chocolate and this is the wrapper with the Pikachu chocolate pretty cool all right, and let's see if it's good. Sure, so good the chocolate, I just realized. It's good. It's really good. Hold up. Special. Something about J Japanese chocolate, I'm not sure what it is, even like their Kit Kat or American brands. The chocolate just has like a magic and I can't explain. But let me show you that what the chocolate looks like. Very well done. I love the attention to details. That chocolate was a 10 out of 10. If you ever go to Japan, just make sure you get some chocolate. You will understand what I mean. Super magical, incredible. Very glad I got it. And next up we have the Master Ball. They had, um, this is from a Monaco Monster Ball, I believe is how you can pronounce it. And um, they had literally like every ball ever. And like I said, I was uh, I was tight on space in my bag. So um, I had to be selective and I was like, all right, if I have to choose a ball, it's gonna be the Pokeball. And these are really well done. All right, this is the Pokeball, the Master Ball. Very high quality, very well done. And let's see what's inside. I don't think anything comes inside, but that would be cool. Does it not open? I don't think it opens up. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, it does open up, but there's nothing inside. So now you know what Pokemon spend hours at a time just chilling inside. This is what it looks like. I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's way cool inside a Pokeball. I always wonder what was inside a Pokeball, like many of you. And uh, I'm sure it's much better than this. They have really high quality ones that you can get like on Etsy and stuff. But uh, just for the aesthetic, this is very cool. And next up we have the Pokemon Cord Keeper. It's called a Cord Keeper. So yeah, you strap them on to your iPhone charger or whatever phone you use. And I uh, already like any USB or whatever. I always see these like in Target and stuff like that. Never get them, but 
come on, I saw these, I was like, wait, I need that. And uh, these are all the characters that it comes with. Mimikyu, uh, Rowlet, Arbok, Piplup, uh, we have uh, Natu there, Pikachu, Ditto, and Sentry. So, I mean, I really want Mimikyu, Ditto, uh, Rowlet, or Pikachu. That would be cool. So, these are mystery ones. So, I got two of them. So, hopefully, we get something good. Let's see. And it comes with a gum, <laughs> which is cool. I'll probably try that. Doubt it's as good as the chocolate. And we got a Piplup. Very nice, very cool. Awesome. Open it up real quick. There you go. Piplup holding your cord, keeping it safe. And we have the, the other one, the other cord keeper. Two Piplups. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Keep him in the package so he doesn't get damaged. And let's try the gum. Very weird to pair up gum with a cord keeper, but hey. I know this flavor, I can't describe it, but I've tasted it before I'm gonna eat the other one. I'm the type of person, when I eat gum, I'll have like five at a time. I love gum. I'm not a fan of like um, the mainstream gum. It sounds so cliche, but I'm not a fan of like the juicy foods. Those are good, but I'm just, I hate like sugar gum. I'm not trying to mess my teeth up. I like like the uh, aspartame free gums. Yeah, I'm a fan of gum. This is my gum review. <laughs> All right, on to the next. I also got a Psyduck cord holder, which is wasn't a mystery one. And I saw a Psyduck and I had to get it. Very cool. This one is probably my favorite. All right, next up we have Sleeping Bulbasaur, which I just thought was pretty cute. Bulbasaur sleeping. And we have, I believe, is this red? I, mean, I know it's not Ash, but I think this is the original red, which is cool. He looks like your, your average trainer ready to catch them all. So yeah, I just thought these were really cool. And of course, I had to get the Team Rocket Grunt to go along with it. Yeah, I think there was a, a Giovanni as well. Let me see if I can find that. And to accompany the Team Rocket Grunt, we have a Giovanni. That is definitely my favorite one. Looking all mischievous. Mis mischievous? Mischievous. Misdrievous. Looking just very cynical and boss. I love these little plastic figures. It's pretty hard plastic, but they are bendable. Very cool, very cool. Classic look. And we also have the Snow White Pikachu. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, I just think any rendition of Pikachu, especially painted white, just looks really cool. But I think this was like a winter version. He's like dressed up with a scarf. I don't know, it just looked very minimalist and cool. I really liked it. And yeah, it's made out of like a, what do you call it? Like croquet fabric? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just make up words sometimes. Crochet, croquet, what is it when you knit them? It just looks like a knitted sweater. It looks warm, very cool. And they had many of these, but this was by far my favorite, the Sleeping Litten. Definitely my favorite Alolan starter. Something just about Pokemon sleeping. It's very cute and I'm a fan. And that is the Sleeping Litten. And fun fact about me, I'm a huge fan of socks. I love soft socks, cool socks with art on them. And I had to get the very, very soft Mimikyu purple fuzzy socks. For when I'm alone at home, I get to just put these on and be in a world of comfort. Very, very dope. One of my favorite colors is purple, and one of my favorite Pokemon is Mimikyu. So yeah, that's it for that. And these were some of my favorite things that I saw in the Pokemon Center. This is a, I'm not sure who the artist is, but I love this art so much. They sell these folder type things. You can see like the little, it's like a folder to keep papers, but I get them for the art. I'll probably end up uh, framing these one day, but the art is just very unique and different. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I regret not getting all of them, but I was in a rush. This is the Leafeon, this is the Sylveon. Very, very cool art. And uh, yeah, I was in a rush, grabbed a few, and then later regretted not getting all of them. But yeah, in Japan they sell these like paper holders a lot, like and they put like really cool art. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it's probably for uh, kids, you know, to hold their homework and stuff. But yeah, I just love this art. Definitely put these up, very cool. More paper holders. We have the scene of Robot Pikachu, I guess in a laboratory. And I guess this is how he was created or something, but there's a lot going on in this picture. This was a huge theme at the time when I went to the Pokemon Center. 
with uh, the scientists and I guess they're working on something with the Pikachu, Rotom, Porygon, Magnemite, and uh, yeah, I guess they're making Robot Pikachu. I don't know, it just looks really cool. Really appreciate the art, love that. And it comes with more Robot Pikachu, very nice. I am out of school and I don't do homework, but I will find the use for these for sure. And just to mix it up, I did not get these in the Pokemon Center. I got these at another store in Japan, but I just appreciate these so much. I'm a huge fan of Godzilla and more paper holders with epic art, had to get it. That is just a beautiful scene as well as Godzilla riding a wave. Very awesome, a huge fan of Godzilla. My favorite is Mecha Godzilla, but I have to get these. Very cool paper holders. And since we're on the topic of Godzilla, I also got some of these really cool, um, what do you call that, holographic? What is that called, hologram? Well, they, they, they change. It's a Godzilla attacking a ship, uh, Godzilla attacking more people, but uh, I'm just a huge fan. It's high quality, very hard, sturdy card. Huge fan of Godzilla, had to get it. This was not at the Pokemon Center, by the way. They do not sell Godzilla merch. But a uh, Godzilla Pokemon collab would be incredible. Okay, next up, we have the, I don't know what to call these, but they're holographic, really shiny. Very shiny coins, uh, and they just look kind of like vintage, so I wanted to get them and open them up right now. And uh, what was really cool about these to me is, oh, that's pretty cool, very hard coin. I'm not sure if you use these in the game or anything like that. What was cool to me about this is that it's called Lizardon. So I guess that's what it's called in Japan. I have no idea. This is from the Pokemon Center, so it is official. But if anyone knows, is that what they call it in Japan? That's pretty cool. Lizardon. And we have Kabigon. Kind of sounds like Digimon. <laughs> Kabugon and... Yeah, all right, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I got these. They had a bunch of them, but I got Snorlax and uh, Charizard were my favorite ones. And up next is this beautiful mason jar with a bunch of like chubby baby type Pokemon. You got the starters, Gengar, and of course, Eevee and Pikachu. Very cool, and it comes with like candies inside. Uh, I kind of don't want to eat the candy since I just had that chocolate. It'll taste pretty nasty, but uh, let's just take them out and look at them. There you go, and the candies have like Eevee on it. And what else? Let's just pour it out here. Eevee and Pikachu candy. See that? That's clear. Yeah, I guess it's just Eevee and Pikachu. But I got it for the jar. Definitely want to keep the jar. There's a Snorlax. And uh, I'll probably give this candy to my cousins or something. Just looks like they taste interesting. I'll probably try one, but not now. <laughs> okay, next up we have a mystery Pokeball with a mystery pe Pokemon inside. I know they had Pikachu. I think one was Snorlax. Um, yeah, let's see what, what, we, what we get. Okay, and let's see what we have inside. We got a hey, Pichu. Cool. So yeah, it shows they have a Cyndaquil, Totodile, Chikorita, Ditto, Voltor, Pichu, Mareep, and Espeon and Umbreon. Cool. Very cool. That is the doll. I also bought uh, a few of these mystery Pokeballs for the outstanding gentleman that helped me uh, that helped me buy extra booster boxes in Japan because you can only buy one. And uh, yeah, so I hooked them up and got them some of these. So hopefully you guys got the one you wanted. Next up, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use a small camera on this one. I got these mystery. You know the the bubble gum machines are very famous in Japan. They put a lot of cool figures in them, and uh, yeah, I managed to get a few. This was a Mimikyu series where they had a bunch of different Mimikyu. Can I open this? Or... All right. And we have a Mimikyu figure. That's pretty cool. Huge fan of Mimikyu. Like I said, they're going to continue to rehash or reinvent Pikachu. These are all the ones you can get. And uh, yeah, I think Mimikyu, they did it right. Making him a ghost fairy was very cool. The story of Mimikyu is very cool. I believe he is a a child's doll who possesses a an abandoned toy uh, stuffy of Pikachu, which is very cool, very very creative and thoughtful. And next up we have a Chansey. This is another thing we got in the gumball machines, and it is a Pikachu. Kind of the same material as the Trainer Red, and it's kind of the same size as well. Next up we have it's like a puzzle. Okay, you lift there. You can do this, Dante, come on. Okay, we got it. And we have an Inke, very cool. Next up we have, I believe this is a Team Rocket series. Yeah, and we have Jesse. All right, and I think 
you have to get them all there. There you go. You got Jesse James and Waba Fett, Meowth, and Beware. And there we go. We have Jesse. Next up, you guessed it. We have James. And I'm not sure how you set these up because they don't really sit too well, like on a, on a ledge or something, but there you go. Jesse and James. And of course, you have to have the Meowth to go along with it. And Meowth is asleep. So I feel like they're able to sit on something or I don't know. Cool little figures, pretty good detail on them. And of course, I was lucky enough, I didn't double up. I got Jesse, James, Meowth, and their partner, Wobbuffet. That figure is very well done, very sturdy. So these next figures, I did not get in the Pokemon Center. I got in another store, um, I believe in Akihabara, but it is called the Mimikyu Circus, and they have Ditto as Pikachu, they have Mimikyu, and they have Pikachu in a King Crown. And I think I'm gonna keep these in the box for now until I can uh, find a place for them. But yeah, these are very cool. Just wanted to share those. And uh, yeah, there's a few other ones, like uh, I guess like a flower crown or something like that, Pikachu. And of course the Sailor Pikachu, which they didn't have these two. So I got these three, they were very cool. They're made out of like a felt material. I actually have one open, one second. So this is what they look like out of the box. Very cool, very like, uh, it's like a fuzzy felt material. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of these, very cool. Also unrelated to Pokemon, I got some Dragon Ball Z figures. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, and in almost every toy store you will find Dragon Ball Z and uh, Pokemon stuff. This is a, a great ape Vegeta, I believe, sitting on top of a space pod. Huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, as well as the Shenron. So when I saw these, I had to get them. Omega Shenron and Great 8 Vegeta. Very, very detailed figure. So yeah, you got that. Next up, we have some Pokemon playing cards. They had a Ho-Ho version and a Lugia version, I'm guessing for Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. And I just thought these were really cool. Very, very unique type of cards. And let's just have a look at these really quick. So we have the Joker Pikachu. The Ace Lugia, we have Croconile, Middle Evolution, we have Machamp, Noctowl, Psyduck, Steelix, Vaporeon, Flareon, M Grimer, Murkrow, Sentret, we have a Cleffa, we have a Slowking, Chikorita, Smeargle, Gollum, we have a, a, a Meganium, and we have a Hitmonchan, Santru, Cyndaquil. I'll just go through these very fast. Very cool. If I ever want to play cards, these would be cool to just bring out. And uh, I feel like the art is kind of like the old, the old school art for these, like the Gen 2 style art, because I don't think it goes past Gen 2, which is uh, really cool. So yeah, the king is a Suicune, and the queen is a <laughs> Igglybuff, which is pretty random, but I, I like it. And the joker is the Hoot Hoot. All right, not bad, those are very cool. So these are from the Pokemon Center. When you purchase anything, they give you these, uh, I'm not sure what they are, like um, some kind of online game or something like that. But yeah, when you purchase one, you get a different Pokemon. I'm sure it has something to do with something online. But uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Here's on the back. And uh, yeah, these are just cool, cool promo cards. And last but not least, we have the Jirachi Mystery Boxes, I guess. I mean, I'm calling them the Jirachi Mystery Boxes because Jirachi is like at the top of it, if you see right there. So uh, each one of these has a different part of the tree and a different Pokemon to go along with the tree. And uh, yeah, I got two of these, so let's see which ones we get. I had very little room in my uh, traveling bag and uh, I had to be very selective about what I got because uh, the booster boxes are very large and they take up a lot of room. And <laughs> these also come with a gum with that very peculiar flavor. It's like a peppermint or like a, like a wintergreen juicy fruit. Oh, I don't know, I give up. All right, let's open it up and see what we get. Hopefully we didn't double up. That would suck. <laughs> but we got the Jigglypuff and the Hoot Hoot. All right, so let me put this together really quick. Okay, so this is what we built. We have the Hoot Hoot hanging upside down, Jigglypuff on the top, and 
So the ones we are missing are Execute, Togepi, um, Pikachu, Caterpie, Mimikyu, and Charmander. So yeah, I mean, you can, uh, you can order these online and try to get the whole tree. Pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to see, uh, you know, what it looked like in person, open it up on the channel. But yeah, that is the entire tree if you get the entire set. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to going back to Japan sometime in the future. Um, yeah, we'll make sure to bring a extra suitcase so that I have room for everything. If you ever get a chance to go, just make sure you have room to bring more stuff back because I guarantee you will want everything in the Pokemon Center. It was so amazing. I had the time of my life. I cannot wait to go back. And like I said before, we did just pass 1,000 subscribers. I'm so happy about that. And I really appreciate everyone that liked, commented, and uh, subscribed to my channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. There will be many more videos like this in the future. And yeah, until next time, peace out.